Okay, hi, my name is Claire Henry. I'm a product manager with System Center Service Manager. We're here at MMS this week and it's been a great week for Service Manager. We've had demonstrations, hands-on labs, we were even part of the keynote. We've been able to demonstrate this week how Service Manager, through the power of its integrated platform, is going to deliver a great solution for our customers. And tonight I'm going to talk to some of the engineering team and some customers, and they're going to give some reactions and responses to how the week's been. So, Travis, you guys, Travis and Jake up here, they demonstrated uh, extensibility today, and they had about 100 people in their session. It was great. So tell us what you did, and tell us some of the customer thoughts and comments. Travis? Well, one of the things I was really excited to show today was our management pack authoring console for the first time publicly. We showed people how they could uh, create Windows Workflow Foundation workflows without writing a single line of code to automate some of their IT processes. It was fabulous. People applauded at the end when it actually automatically added a computer to the group in Active Directory in response to a change request. Great. It was awesome. Jacob. Yeah, so I was really excited to finally talk about the common platform that we've built in Service Manager and some of the enhancements that we've made on top of the Ops Manager infrastructure and really be able to demonstrate how a common model can be shared across Operations Manager and Service Manager. The customers and partners love that because the investments that they've already made on, ops, on Operations Manager could be immediately realized in Service Manager. That's great. I'd like to introduce a customer of ours. This is Walter Eichenboom. Did I pronounce it right, Walter? Yeah, yeah, it was oh, almost, good, good, good. almost right. <laughs> good. Walter's from the Netherlands, and he's with Gatronix. And Gatronix is one of our TAP customers for Service Manager, and he's here with us this week. Any comments about Service Manager? And yes, we uh, we are joining the TAP program for uh, Service Manager as well, and we really like the integration between Active Directory, uh, Ops Manager, and Convex Manager. We seem to get all the information on the right place to get. Uh, really responsive to the incidents that occur in our infrastructure. So we're really fond of the fall of Service Manager. Great. This is Charlie Chase. Charlie is the Group Program Manager in the Service Manager team. And his team did a great demonstration today on the integration across the System Center platform. They, they demonstrated DCM integration, they demonstrated Ops Manager integration. So Charlie, any comments from the customers? And we'd love to see what you demonstrated if you have a chance to show it to us. Uh, sure. So. Really, the customers came up and they really liked how deep the integration was between Service Manager and the other System Center products, not just from DCM feature or the fact that uh, we do uh, um, integration with Operations Manager, but not only bringing in the data from Active Directory and from Configuration Manager and Operations Manager, but to the way that we can basically seamlessly move between all the solutions in, in Service Manager, as well as move into those feature areas of the other products. And particularly, I showed how we could resolve an alert that came from Operations Manager into Service Manager and resolve that from the Service Manager console back to OM while still staying in the Service Manager console. So here's what I'll show you. Great. Thanks, Charlie. All right. So great. So here's what I'm going to show you. I'm First of all, I'm in the um, Operations Manager web console and I'm on the Active Alerts node and I'm showing you that on this payroll website that's part of a larger distributed application, there's an alert on that site which means something's gone wrong. If I move over to the distributed application designer view, what I can see is, is that I have the view of the site and that there is clearly an alert coming from this payroll site which is affecting the health of this distributed application. Well, I'm not here to demonstrate operations manager, I actually want to demonstrate ser service manager. So I'm going to come over here to the service manager's view and you'll notice that I'm on in here under the configuration items workspace. I basically have a list of websites. And so what I want to show you here is those are the same websites that were part of this larger distributed application, in particularly the, a the payroll and the, and the HR web website. So what I want to show you here is, is how I can go down to this all services view and I can basically select the HR web service right there. And what I want to do is basically open up the web service and show you what that service looks like from a service manager view. So with, remember within operations manager what you saw was a view of the distributed application but not necessarily the business data that goes along with the technology components that that comprises. In particular, what I want to show you is, is that there was a name for that distributed application or service for HR web. It's offered by Woodgrove IT and its status is it's in service. It has also been classified as an internal application with high priority and a 24 by 7 schedule. 
But most importantly, what we also provide here within Service Manager is the ability to add additional business data, such as who the service owner is, who's responsible for keeping this, this service running, who are the contacts, should there be a problem in the service, and who are the customers of that service. So if I come over here to the Depends On tab, what I'll notice is I have, again, the same structure that I saw in the Operations Manager view of the service in terms of having a payroll website, an HR website, and a bunch of databases. And in particular, you'll notice that there's a warning icon on the payroll service. So what I want to do here is open up the payroll service and kind of look and see what's going on. So when I select the payroll service and click Open, what I'm, what's going to happen now is it's going to visualize and bring up the data from the configuration management database within Service Manager and basically show me that here is the information about the hardware running that, that particular payroll website. So here we got the information that was brought in from Operations Manager and is now is shown in this form. But in order for me to, to really deal with the incident, what I want to do is go over to the related items and what I can see is that when that alert got generated from Operations Manager, it actually created an incident within Service Manager and it related it to the configuration item for the payroll site. So now what I can do is I've, I've selected that, that work item and I can now open it. And what this will do is open up our incident form. Now our incident form will do things like fill in the data based on the type of incident and it will get that information from the CMDB and do the, uh, and do the type of routing, inf routing that we expect to find. For example, what you'll see here is it's, it's, it's decided what its impact is from a template, the urgency of this type of incident, who it's assigned to, etc. So if I was Phil Otten, what I would want to do is come over here to the, to the resolve incident task in the task pane. I would want to come in here and resolve it. And what I want to do is say, this is a cool demo. Click OK. And if I maximize, then I can do a submit and close. And what will happen now is, is that basically is what I've done is I've resolved this incident. And this incident will then be resolved back into Operations Manager such that when I go back to the operations manager view, I will basically not, that incident will go away once that workflow <laughs> runs and the flow comes back into operations cool. manager. Thanks everyone, it's been a great week here at MMS. If you didn't make MMS this year and you want to take a further look at service manager, you can take a test drive. We actually have an online virtual test drive, www.microsoftservicemanagertestdrive.com. You can also take a look at www.microsoft.com slash service manager. Thank you very much.